storm is heading towards Florida. Joining us now from State College, Pennsylvania, AccuWeather.com meteorologist Joe Bastardi. So I understand this storm has lost a little steam over Cuba. Is that what's going on? Well, it's lost quite a bit of steam over Cuba. It is passing south of Florida. We don't want to downplay the Florida situation, but this is a miss for Florida. Let's take a look at what's going on with Ike right now. This is the most destructive storm for Cuba, Bill, since 1963. Category 4 Flora went all the way up to Havana, came back down and went out. Actually inspired Fidel to accuse us of blocking the storm to try to hurt his island. Uh, this is, that's a true story, but this is coming the length of the island out into the Gulf of Mexico. So once it gets out into the warm waters of the Gulf, though, the wisdom is that it picks up steam again because of the uh, dynamic of the water and the storm. Well, that's exactly right. We have two options for you here. Option number one is that once it's out over the Gulf, it'll get out in the Gulf tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday morning, be located about 250 miles west southwest of Key West. It could turn back to the north, and there's a lot of cold water left there relative to the uh, overall Gulf temperature from Gustav. And that way, the negative of that is it will hit an area that's already been hit. The positive is it misses New Orleans again to the west, and it weakens off its peak it will weaken coming to the coast but there's option number two which is well i want you to see this option number two is further west and this is a dreadful track because it's north of dolly's track south of gustav's track this water has not been touched by uh, any tropical cyclones this year it's very very warm in addition unlike hannah and gustav this will move slowly five to ten miles an hour probably to the west and back toward the northwest and if it does this it will reach a peak probably a category four hurricane friday into saturday and the history of these things bill on the texas coast is when they hit perpendicular they do not weaken like we see on the louisiana coast and carla of course is the benchmark storm in the last 50 years a category four back in 1961 but is joined by celia and alicia alicia being the most recent big hit in 1983. All right, so there's two options. Let's just recap here. The first one is that it goes into Louisiana again, but in a weaker state. The second one is that it goes southwest into Texas in a stronger state, correct? Yeah, and perhaps much stronger. The way out in Texas, though, is if it can hit in Kennedy County between Corpus Christi and Brownsville, there are more cows than people there, or perhaps even further right. south, south to south. But the fact is that this storm looks like it's going to put together the intensity factor that some of the other storms have not managed. What are, what are the odds, year. Joe? Do you have any odds now, or is it 50-50? Well, I think it is going to get to at least Category 3, probably 4, and I think there's a good chance for a hit on the Texas coast. It will be slow moving, and if it's any consolation, this is exactly what the hurricane models that the Hurricane Center has should do the best on. They do very well on big, slow moving storms, so you will have plenty of warning with this storm. All right, Joe, we'll check back with you later in the week. Thanks very much. Now